I wanted to take a quick look today at FSR and resolution scaling and maybe some DLSS too and compare the image quality. Reason being is that I've heard from some people in the comments section saying that resolution scaling has worked better for them than FSR does. Now I have noticed that it's not the best implementation of FSR in this game because it does tend to make the image a little sharper. Right now we're running the game at 4K native here. As you can see, 4K. I've set a 60 FPS cap. We'll look at performance later. The graphical settings, it's a mixture of ultra and high, just so I can get 60 at 4K native, okay? So right now we're running at native. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pan the camera around and look at the tip of the sword as it goes over the tree branches. So right now it seems to look pretty good. And then we'll throw on FSR and uh, see what that looks like. Because it's in motion that these things tend to stand out the most, right? Standing still, um, they all look pretty good. Okay, let's take a look at FSR. Okay, so now we have FSR quality and immediately you can see as my sword moves, the tip of the sword, it almost like leaves a trail of, um, it leaves a trail basically of white sparkly stuff. Almost like it like doubles, like if, uh, even if I sit still as my character moves their sword just by themselves, you'll notice as it goes over the branches is that the reconstruction leaves behind. Now I don't know if it's because the image is being sharpened more because you can tell that it's a little bit sharper. So yeah, that is definitely noticeable. It, it's almost like it leaves a, a trail behind it as it moves over the tree branches, the tip of the sword, okay? So yeah, I would say that is definitely uh, noticeable. Now, why don't we try resolution scaling? Okay, so FSR is now off. And what we're going to try first is set resolution scale to 67% because that's what FSR quality does. I think that's only fair to do it that way. Okay, we'll apply. And yeah, it's... Um, it, yeah, it does look better. Like the sword isn't leaving that trail behind that it was leaving with uh, with FSR. Now you can still tell that something is a little bit different, but yeah, I would say that resolution scaling does do a better job. The other thing that's good with the resolution scaling is that you can adjust it to whatever you want, right? The FSR, once you go to quality, that's 67%. Now, and this is at 4K, which is best case scenario, right? Uh, at 1440p, it'll be a little tougher for FSR and DLSS, basically, to reconstruct the image um, close to native. Okay, now we're going to try some DLSS. There we go, DLSS quality, apply, and yeah, it definitely looks cleaner, but DLSS has some issues too. Now, take a look at the sword. As it moves, it leaves quite a ghost trail. So it's not perfect, but what I've noticed is that it only happens when the character's sitting still, but it, it can get quite bad. Look at, look at that, wow. Uh, now, when you're like running and stuff, or even when you're panning the camera, it it looks perfectly clean. Like, look at that. 
you move the camera but if you sit and still it it can ghost around it's really strange it's almost like DLSS kicks on when you move the camera or something now that's not true DLSS is on but you know what I mean it's it's really strange how it, it happens if you're sitting still and this is something I also observed when I was first playing the game and I got out of the tutorial area when you open the door and I look up in the sky there's a flock of birds and you could see a bit of ghosting around the uh, behind the, the birds as they're flying around in a circle so I did notice that so it's like very specific and weird things that can kind of ghost around so yeah DLSS isn't 100% perfect even though I do feel it does a better job with the image reconstruction as a matter of fact I think it does a pretty good job with toning down a bit of that over sharpened image that's even in uh, when the game is at native 4k So here I've done a, a spin around with all three with resolution scale on the left, DLSS quality in the middle and FSR quality on the right. So I try to get these to line up but swapping computers and using a joystick it's kind of hard to do. But I hope this kind of uh, serves as an overlook into, into the multiple ways you can use to gain some extra performance. And speaking of performance we're gonna do a side-by-side -side run of native resolution scale and FSR quality. We're gonna use these settings here, 4K. Everything's on ultra except for view distance, shadows, reflections, and global illumination to high so that we can have a around 60 FPS on the native. And this way you guys can judge, the per look at the performance for yourselves. And with the image quality, you can, uh, hopefully this highlights uh, exactly what you can achieve with the different methods that we have to gain some extra performance so i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little breakdown i did and if you did like it give it a like i appreciate it and if you have any other suggestions that you'd like me to take a look at leave them below and if i can i'll look at them thanks for watching have a great one